Look at the corner of the screen. Yo, what's up guys, it's Looney here, and today I'm going to show you how to create the best slow-mo effect you possibly can using Twixter. So first of all, what you want to do is find Twixter in your effects tab, drag it over, but I already have it uh, copy and pasted in my clipboard, so I'm going to copy and paste it in my clip. You want to set the display output to source. So now you want to go to right where your clip has these little red pellets, and you're going to want to go down to speed percent under output control. If you press the stopwatch, you can drop a keyframe and set it to 250. Then you're going to want to go 1, 2, 3, 4 frames over and you can drop a keyframe from 10. You can drop a keyframe using this button and you can use these buttons to navigate between your keyframes. Then you want to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 keyframes over and drop a keyframe for 30. Alright? Now, you want to go back to our 250 keyframe. You can navigate using these arrow keys like I said. You want to go 25 frames to the left. 25 keyframes to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Alright, take a deep breath after that counting, and then I want to go drop a keyframe for 50. I want to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and drop a keyframe for 25. Okay. Then I want to go back to my keyframe, navigating using this arrow key. Go one keyframe over, drop a keyframe for 150, and then go five frames to the left. One, two, three, four, five. Use your arrow keys to do this. And I want to drop a keyframe for 100. So, I know that sounds complicated, but don't worry, it will create a really cool effect once we're done with it. So now what I want to do is I had my display at source, I want to change it to Twixter output, and I want to split the clip right on the 100. Right about here. And then I can delete Quickster from the other half of the clip because it'll, it'll already be set to 100% speed, so nothing will change. So now that the video is rendered, we can see what it looks like. Look at the corner of the screen. Look at it. Um, anyways, it's a really quick tutorial. It's not that hard to do this. Generally, what I can do after is I create a preset so I can just drag it on and match the specific keyframes that I need. But anyways, hope you have a good day and peace.